airplane. Airplane. <laughs> right Every on time. cue. Yep. Yes. Ow! Hi guys, I hope you're good. I should practice something. Yeah, it's like, turn it off and practice. Do you practice? Hi guys, I hope you're good. I'm here today with a very special guest. Me in what could be my last ever vlog. What? <sighs> Why? Today, David and I are doing something very exciting, equally scary. Are you scared? I'm very scared. I think I'm the only one that's not actually scared. I'm pretending to be scared. <laughs> what are we doing today, David? We are going out on a boat. Are we going out on my boat? We're not going out on your boat. Are we going out on your boat? We're not going out on my boat. <laughs> Whose boat are we going out on? Joe and Michael's from Minimal List. As you've seen from some of my previous videos, I've been out with Joe and Michael before, but this cruise is gonna be a little bit different. Today, we are gonna tackle the Tidal Thames. And I did a video about a year ago where I did the Tidal Thames from Teddington to Brentford. That's child's play. Today, we're taking on the big boy. Together, where are we going? From Limehouse, Limehouse to, to Teddington. Teddington. <laughs> so, proper through central London, the scary bit of the Thames. Houses of Parliament, London Eye, Tower Bridge, Choppy Waters, everything. I feel like I should be more scared than I actually am, but I've got a good feeling about it. Cool. Yeah, so, let's do it. We meet Michael and Joe in Limehouse and after a thorough safety briefing we are ready for our trip. The wide beam in front of us is also coming through the lock with us and down to Teddington. Joe told me that the lock is different because it doesn't have any sluices and it can be quite violent when the gates open but I'm not nervous at all. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not Oh my god. Fuck. Oh god. That is um not different from what I was expecting. You really freaked me out with your like. Wow. That's amazing, look at her. Okay, so the lock was a little bit more extreme than I was expecting and you can hear the water just crashing into the gates from the other side. It's like, it's like we're on a carpet here, it's so calm flat, and then... <laughs> wow, wow, that's amazing. Deep down we are as well. That's it, the lock's open, there's no turning back now. We're gonna let the wide beam go through first. They have a pilot with them, so they should in theory know what they're doing and we can just follow them. So that's us, we are through the lock at Limehouse and it really is a lot choppier than I was expecting. Um, definitely a, a bit less chilled out than I was before, but I'm, I'm, I'm still cool. I'm cool, Joe. I'm completely chilled out. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Oh, you can, oh, you like really feel it. Are you, oh, I would not recommend this if you get seasick. Does David get seasick? Oh, look at the size of these boats that we're sharing with. I know. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Canary Wharf, I'm getting soaked in the face. It's so much choppier than I thought it would be. It's just like being at sea. <laughs> Joe was absolutely petrified and it didn't help that I was screaming a bit. I 
told a porcupine that I was just really excited, but the first few moments were pretty terrifying. However, the weather was great and I trust Michael completely, so I soon relaxed into it. That's okay, no, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, we're at Tower Bridge already. That was so quick. Look at that. <laughs> oh, is your mummy going to be there? I think so. Oh. The worst thing about going on the Thames is the wash that's created from the other boats that are zooming past and they're all running to a tight timetable so they won't slow down for anyone. But it was a Saturday so there wasn't actually that much traffic and like I said the weather was perfect so I think this was as calm as we could hope for. Before I knew it, we were at Tower Bridge. The journey was just flying by. I'm going to try not to overly edit this video because I want the reactions to all be natural. We are coming past the Tower of London, which is the civil age of Joe's mum. That's the entrance to Traitor's Gate, where they would take the prisoners into the tower. Uh, and there's a big boat behind us. And there's the Shard, um, the HMS Belfast. Another one of these bastards on their um, brims. Yeah, it was the guy that like soaked us in the face. We're coming up to the Millennium Bridge now. One of the best things about being on the water is that everybody on the bridges will wave down at you. Just see the London Eye there in the distance and on the right hand side of the lifeboats. When I turn back and look at Michael, he had such concentration on his face. I really hope that Joe wouldn't turn around to look too in case she got freaked out. But she did, uh, but she told me it was definitely a happy concentration, so that's good. They won't even recognise that we're, we're a boat, they'll be like, oh look at that little dot in the water. You can just see Big Ben there, all covered up, having a well needed facelift. Just under the bridge there is an exclusion zone, which means about a third of the river is, um, you're not allowed to go in there. So there was quite a lot of traffic close by to us. So this is the Palace of Westminster where our uh, our houses of the Parliament, that's where the Parliament meet. And you can see these uh, boys here in the water marking out the exclusion zone because you're not allowed to go um, close to the Parliament just in case we finish off one guy box to the tube.
cruise had just went past. I thought we'd reached the end of all I was, that. Like, bouncing off the side. Just gone past Vauxhall Bridge and we're very close to the Tate Britain, which is the superior of the two Tate galleries. And it is just like an entirely different river once you go past that bridge. There's no traffic at all. There's Battersea Power Station on the left hand side. Brilliant. Oh, this is so chilled now. very interesting. I think we had it better at the back of the boat than you did up here at the bow because the bow was crashing through the waves. You could see the water splashing up and it all looked very dramatic from the back. And you would have been feeling that but at the back we were just going up and down a bit and up and down a bit so actually it was a lot less dramatic there. You rolled about a bit and certainly I could even hear the propeller and the engine sort of um, it just makes a different noise and it vibrates a bit differently as, as the water and the waves crash underneath the boat. So you could hear the boat struggling um, every time a large boat went past and let a lot of wash past. But very interesting and amazing of course to see all of London from the water. Now we're just coming up to Putney Bridge now. I've been across that bridge so many thousands of times on the District Line. It looks very different. We're just cruising past Fulham Bridge now and once you get to this part of the river there's um, lots of boats moored but it's a different type of user, lots of leisure people, sailing, rowing, that sort of thing. We're coming up to another rail bridge that connects Kew Gardens and Gunnersbury stations and just on the other side is Oliver's Island, named after Oliver Cromwell. You should check out this narrowboat adventure, Jasmine, she's doing a series of videos on islands of the Thames. And this is Kew Bridge, I would spend many a morning asleep on the 65 bus when I was working in Kingston, travelling in. On the right hand side there is Brentford Lock and that's where you could come off to go on to the canal. But we are going to carry on to Teddington. I think this might be Cyan House but I'm not sure because everything looks different on the water. I think this is where one of my colleagues lives. Yeah, if it's the...
we are, we're just coming up to Teddington now. I feel kind of sad that it's over. It's been such a good day. <laughs> Glad that we didn't sink. You did great, I'm so proud of you. So we're coming to the end of our adventure. Massive thank you to Joe and Michael for allowing us to join them. I'm so proud of them, I can't believe they did it. I'd be far too scared to do it in my own boat. But, oh, absolutely worth it and I would definitely do it again. It went so, so quickly and I feel like I missed a load of things. So I would definitely love to do the journey again and maybe not vlog it so I could just absorb everything that's happening it was incredible if you've got the guts to do it i highly recommend it we are just coming out of the lock now and joe and michael are gonna moor up on the visitor moorings here and spend the night so david and i are gonna go and grab some dinner and leave them in peace thank you so much for watching i will see you all again very very soon bye for now